Hello and welcome to the Late Model Stock Fixed series here at Five Flags. It's been a while since I raced this car. Um, I wanted to do some racing today and I saw this was going off here at Five Flags. And uh, I had a pretty fun race there in the Arca car. And I figured, hey, let's, uh, let's head on back there in the Late Model Stock. It's been a minute, so we'll see how it goes. I've never been too great with this car. It always, it just feels weird to me to drive. It's, I guess, just different from the other stuff that I drive more often. And so, um, it's, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to for me. But, uh, regardless, hopefully I can have a decent run. But I don't expect to be all too fast. I just hope to have a clean, solid run. That's really all I could ask for. Uh, maybe we'll get some decent qualifying here, which I assume is going to be important. Looser here than it was in practice, for sure. Practice was at night time, so I figured the track temps were probably cooler. So I'm getting a little bit more turn out of the car right now than I did then. Which is interesting. A little bit faster than I have been running as well. I'm getting to the sevens. Which for now is going to put me P3, but I expect that to drop a little bit more. I really don't know how I'm going to approach this race necessarily. I guess I'll just try to keep a consistent fast line at the bottom. Hopefully try to prevent opening the door and letting anybody get a nose on me, because short track racing, you know, um, if you get stuck on that outside, you're going to watch the whole field pass you probably. So I think I'm really going to focus on being consistent, trying not to make any major mistakes that could allow, <clears throat> excuse me, and that could allow anybody to uh, throw me out there to the wolves. So, uh, we are the number four here in a 3.0K strength of field. Decent sign-up numbers, which I was happy to see uh, midday. On a Thursday, we've got the Diet Dr. Pepper series coming up tonight. I'm looking forward to. So I guess you could call this quote-unquote practice for that, even though it's something completely different. More or less, I'm just... Uh, Getting my hands on the steering wheel. And in that racing mindset. So unfortunately, we just got bumped to fourth. Really, really like to start on the inside, but we'll see. Um, I don't know anything about how tire saving is going to go here. I guess I'm just going to go for it. Um, it feels like it's loose on exit, so... I really don't know at this point if, you know, the right front's going to be wearing out, if it's going to be the rear. After that run, it's the right front, although the left rear is worse than the left front, so I don't really know what the handling's going to do necessarily. I think I'm just going to go, and I'll learn what I learn. That's the end of the session. Hmm. P5. What do I want to do? I mean, it felt just fine, so I guess I'll go with the default settings. We got bumped to 5th, I think. 6th. Ugh. Man, I saw him, I saw him, went to fifth, and I was like, okay, maybe we'll be on the inside. And then I got bumped back again. So, unfortunately, sixth is where we ended up. But at least I'm not too far off. Only a tenth off of the fastest time, so um, not, like, horribly off pace or anything. We'll get to the grid, get session last lap up, and then see if we can have ourselves a good run. Turn all of this off in case we need the fast repair. <laughs> oh, my wife just got home and spilled popcorn. <laughs> oh no. Um. Oh my gosh, what is happening in the chat? Fifty. The two says he sucks, even though he qualified second. So, I guess what does that make me? <laughs> if the guy in second says he's not doing well. But, Follow car number zero one in the outside man. Car. Anyway, 50 laps here. Um, 
like I said, this is the fixed series. I've never done the uh, open series in this, I don't think. Um, for me, the point of open series is uh, so you can have a little bit of strategy for like green flag pit stops and stuff, and you don't really get that in the open series in this, so... For me, it doesn't really seem necessary, although the, cl the races might be cleaner. I could definitely see that for the longer races. But fix is just fine with me. Is it a first gear start? Mm, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say second gear start. Feels like you get to the end of the first gear too quickly. I'm gonna really be trying to get to that inside as soon as possible. It's gonna be difficult, but it's where we wanna be. I want to get it done quick, but being too aggressive could get me turned, so I've got to be really careful about how to do it. Alright, we get to the inside. Nice, okay. That's exactly what I was hoping. Coming up on our rear. It's gonna run into me. Checking up going on ahead. Just pinching me super hard. He's just gonna turn down into me. I was on his inside and he just turned down on me. Trying to protect that inside. I get it. He's going to dive it in behind us. He's pushing it into my door on the straightaway. Just letting him by so we can get back in line. But we'll actually cross over, interestingly. Really close racing here. It's giving me no room. That was a very dangerous move, but it worked out. I guess that's just how it works. These short track races, it's all about all the less than an inch moves you gotta make to get where you need to go. He will bounce it off the wall there a bit. All as well. Eight at the moment. Finally able to kind of settle in just a bit. Think about hitting my marks rather than how I'm almost ending up in a wreck. And I guess we'll see... Uh, oh man, he just keeps hitting that front stretch wall. We'll see what uh, happens with our tires over time. Really don't know. It's like we're getting good rotation out of four, and it looks like that guy's like pushing really hard and ending up quite close to that wall on the front stretch. That makes me feel like he's driving it pretty hard center and out in order to be putting himself in that situation. But we'll see. Got room behind us, that's nice. Don't have to think about that too much. You think about what's ahead. And out into the wall again. You've just done a Doesn't seem to be hurting them though. They're all pretty small taps, so... Guess he's alright. I feel like maybe I'm underdriving. Uh, center and exit or something, because I'm just not even getting close to the wall. That makes me feel like maybe I'm not pushing hard enough where I need to be. So we got a collection of cars in front of us. I see the one up there. 
right behind the three. Lots of guys in one small spot. Let's we'll see, uh, this ends up being a bit of a, uh, a fight here as guys try to get the most they can. Ten up into the wall uh, again. I wonder if that's going to affect them at all. Just those tiny hits adding up. I don't know if that's a thing or not. That'd be good for the car, though, I wouldn't think. Your lap time was 17.0. There, I kind of overdrove it. I tried something a little bit different on entry. Didn't really work out for me. Feeling kind of stuck right now, not making my way anywhere. Oh, big bobble by the ten. Close. Don't think we could do anything about it. There he goes bouncing off the wall. He's painting the wall a new color. This race, that's for sure. We've got the 15 coming up behind us as we've checked up for the 10 a couple of times. Hopefully we can avoid getting past. He seems pretty fast back there right now. Side by side up there, the one and the three. Went a little wide on exit. That's kind of opening the door if the guy behind were to want to do something. Hopefully we can uh, prevent him from getting by, but I'm not, sure, so, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. It just feels like you can't do much. That was at Somebody on an apron down below. Is that a lap car? It is. Alright, Colton, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Hmm. Inside. Right behind, diving it in. He's not there. Coming up on halfway here. You've just done a 17 for one. He's gonna be there here in a second though. Inside. Not here there. It's just gonna wreck me, I think. It's running in the back of me. And I am no good at this. Guy head's now getting away. I think I probably killed my tires. The lap time was at 17.2. Huge run on us. He's got it here. Clear. Inside. Was at I guess I'll just let him go because we're not going to fight him off on the outside. Right. Now what do we do? Probably just get ninth, right? If we're lucky. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
probably should have been nice for the tires, I guess. Maybe use more brake. Start doing that now. Seems to be helping, actually. Guys are pushing out wider and wider on exit. Feels like we can't do anything. Kind of just going slow. Coming up to 15 to go. I wish the car were loose or something. We could like at least fight the handling. Instead, I guess we just killed the right front, so we're just going to watch the guys ahead drive away. I don't know. A little boring. Really, compared to how difficult the Arca car was to drive here, this feels like we're... Uh, driving like a train or something. <laughs> Not too keen to make the turns. That was at 17.3. Guess we'll just hope someone makes a mistake, but I'm just uh, sitting here now. There's a uh, something happening. Just looking at that, not paying attention to anything else. It's just a lap car. So nothing going on there. Mm -hmm. Great job. Just to go. Right front, uh, it's not all that happy. It kind of makes the turns, it just doesn't feel as fast anymore. Kind of wants to push up on exit like that. That car is coming, I guess. Let him by. Inside. Still inside. Let me go, please. I would like to keep ninth at least. He's gonna, he's gonna pass me. I'd like him to do a little quicker than that next time. Lose this spot now. Oh, now he's getting out of the way. Are you kidding me? Clear high. ahead. Okay, Colton. The next car is Broken car sitting on the racing line. Try to hold on to it, but I can tell he's way off pace. Car outside. Still there. So I shouldn't have to fight too hard for this. It should be uh, pretty simple since his uh, his car is going to be on a little slower. Got another pass done. The next car is Hayes. The Hayes. Fifteen up ahead. Who's the guy I was battling earlier? I didn't realize he was one of them involved in that. Slow car up high. Go low. Another slow car up high. That's another spot. Lots of free spots all of a sudden. Did not expect that with how Two left to go. Two to go. nothing the rest of the race has been. Just gotta get out of the way or I'm gonna get hit. Left. 
Get out of the way. Jesus. What is he fighting me for? Hit. And he wrecks because of it. Alright, that's what you get for trying to wreck me for sixth place, I guess. I mean, I assume he's not trying to wreck me, but give me the bump and run. For sixth place. Oh well. Um, we ended up in sixth, much better than I thought I was going to get, running ninth. What do you want, pussy? Right, what are they yelling at? I don't know. <laughs> I had my chat muted, I didn't even realize. But, uh, alright, I guess, uh, we get sixth. Just Hey, uh, Tim, next time, don't just turn down on top of someone. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we needed to be better to the right front. I thought it was going to turn better than that. Alright, I guess that was our major problem. Uh, they were mad at each other. I wonder if they were mad at me. I don't know. I guess I'll go back and check later. But I don't think I did anything. Oops. Dude, you literally came down on top of me. I was holding my line. And that's the line through the corner. So the 10 and the 15. You walked me into turn one when you came off four, low, and I dove in the, into the one. That's are the guys that were mad in front of me, or they wrecked in front of me, I mean? I don't know. Ass pack in the center of my bumper, I, I guess. Land gets wrecked by the sun drop car. That's probably what he's referring to, I guess. I mean, anyone can wreck somebody on injury. Why not pass me up all? The 15 was on the move, too. That's Did too bad. Did you lose your tongue? Did it fall out? Dude, I have no problem with you, Gage. That's my brother. I'm talking to the 10 car. Not sure what's going on there. I guess the 9 just drifted up too high and somehow that wrecks him? The 9 drifting up too high? That seems kind of strange. 9's kind of sitting there. Way off pace, I remember that. Him being like really slow on the bottom. And you got the 2 car in 2nd place. Hitting the wall a, bit, a little bit. Got multiple sun drop cars in here. That's kind of the that's the default scheme, I think, for this car. Here's the wreck. It's the 10 and the 15 in front of us. How did this transpire? So the 15's working on him, trying to get around. It looks like 10 taking a protective line. The 15's going to get a big run on him here, especially with the 10 getting loose. 15 enters really shallow and then drifts up and that's on the 15. 15's too high up probably because he entered so shallow. I think if he wants to go for this pass he needs to be a little higher up the track. It looks like he dives down low here because the 10's getting loose but it makes him have to enter really low and that's just going to be a really slow way through the corner and he has to slow it down a ton to keep it to the bottom. The 10 hold him, holds him tight, but he's definitely up off the bottom by almost a full car width. And uh, that gets him hooked on the uh, left front of the 10, and that sends him right into the wall. So, I think the 15 drifted up too far. I don't know what happened beforehand with the 10 maybe blocking. I saw a defensive line, I don't know about blocking. But certainly not what the 15 wanted, I'm sure. Eight going around. Not much to see there, I guess. And there's me making my way around the 10, healing my right front in the process. The six going on their way to win the win the race. They did win, yep. 
two. Just gonna turn down into the five. Is that for position? It is. Both of those guys for position. So the two losing spots late. Sure, he didn't want that. Man, I don't know what that was. They're getting crazy up there. Two's getting himself hooked. This is how we got another spot, I suppose. And then that looks like we're just about at the end of the race. There's the 12 trying to run into me for 6th and then self-spinning. Legitimately, I entered low. What happens when you enter low? You fly up high. That is the line. Stop just stop being like this. Gave you like three car lengths on the bottom enter on the normal line. That was your choice then or low. If you can't hold it low, then you should probably just go ahead and quit. Yeah, no, that was on fifteen that was on the fifteen, I saw that incident. Dude, you literally slid off let the him know. and I thought you were coming down the track at me. So but, I had uh, to enter low. Alright, so we get sixth. We'll see the results page here. I mean, not even have to. You literally slid down the track, man. I had nowhere to go, and then I, was just, I had to take the dive to the inside. Then it's your responsibility to hold the bottom line if you do. That's just how it works. Uh, All right, so uh, we are slow, but we got some freebies. Can't thankfully get our sixth place. Uh, minus 12 I rating, but, you know, wasn't really expecting much in a series I'm not really all that great in. So to be able to get that finish, perfectly good with me. That's the number four car right around that, right around there with the P6 finish. So we'll take it. So the six uh, leads every lap and wins it. And see the rest of the field here and that'll do it thanks for watching bit of a return to the uh, late model stocks uh, something a little different maybe not my favorite but uh, it's good to work on my short track racing a little bit because it's definitely a weak spot for me and uh, always plenty of action that's for sure action and arguments but uh, that'll do it for this one thanks for watching and I'll see you next time have a good one